Yesterday I showed you how you can make a colored crushed glass Christmas tree without having to use colored glass. And now I'm going to show you another way to make a colored crushed glass Christmas tree without using any colored glass whatsoever. It's all clear glass. I can't believe I got that in one take. Tip is still not impressed. He's my cute boy. He's my cutie. So my board is sanded and prepped. I think I'm going to use this little piece of driftwood down at the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> So this glass has already been sifted out somewhat, a little piece of, and you know, I've saved the glass dust in, in a little jar because I am going to use it. Um, go through, pick out pieces with paper still attached. I have a visitor in the studio today. <sighs> A little visitor in the studio today. This is Tip. Say hi, Tip. <laughs> oh, he's my buddy. You good boy. You are my good boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So I'm still gonna sift through a little bit more. I have some stray pieces of weird colors in there, and I only want to use. You know, bigger sizes like that. Because I do, well, I don't want these great big pieces. I'm going to put those back in the crusher. But I want pieces like this to this size. I don't, what, the, what I don't want is this little tiny stuff like this like almost like little diamonds and the only reason i prefer not to use the little tiny pieces is just because it they tend to get a little bit cloudy when you hit it with resin they get cloudy and it's more of like a solid mass. And really, it's it only tends to affect the clear glass. And I think it's just because the resin just overwhelms. I have to take the label off. The resin just tends to overwhelm the clear. The weirdest thing. So I was thinking about making, should I make a tall one? Tall skinny tree? Let's make a tall skinny tree. And I want this one to be really full as far as the depth of the glass. I'm going to try something not done before. And my stick is just to guide the glass. And I want my, I always, I don't attach my trunk yet, but I like to have it on my board just so I know how, how tall I want my tree. So this is a tall tree. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and drizzle the resin on, put a star right there, um, with my stick. And I, I do like to do the edges first. I always like to do the edges first because then if I start at the, kind of the same part, the same spot every time, I'm not having to guess, especially with the clear glass. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, 
you know, where you have already put the resin and where you might have missed. So if I kind of start at the same spot every time, I don't really ever have to guess. Now I'm using the Let's Resin Casting Resin, 40 milliliters. It's not a fast set. I'm not using the fast set. This is more of a resin that you use with molding. Um, when you use molds. So it's kind of like a regular resin. It's a regular set. I mean, this is really pretty, just like it is. Definitely want to get your edges, though. I'm make sure I get the bottom. Right. 40 milliliters is the perfect amount for this size of a tree. This one is, a, this board's probably 16 inches tall. Now, of course, the amount of resin that you're gonna use is gonna depend on how much glass that you have and also, you know, how thick you have the glass on the board. I like to use a lot of glass because it, it just makes it really pop. All right, so here is where, okay, I'm getting into new territory now. So alcohol inks, I've never tried on a Christmas tree, on a crushed glass Christmas tree. And I have various alcohol inks here. And I just want to try alcohol inks on top of the resin and see what happens. I don't know. I'm just not quite sure if it will even work. But you know how alcohol ink really reacts kind of cool when it hits resin. So will it work on something like this? It's got a little booger in it. So let's just see. get you closer so you can see what's happening. This is looking really, really cool. really curious about this. So this is the pinata uh, sapphire blue and this is pinata. This is a pinata color. This is a pinata aqua. I'll have a link to this in the description. Um, it, this is a needle nose dropper and this is also but the needle is gone. So it kind of just gushes out. This is really, really cool, y'all. Can you hear Tip's little toes? Okay, I'm gonna try gold now. The gold is Pixis. My metallics are Pixis. Oh my gosh, look at that. like a patchwork tree. Now I'm being really careful not to get on to the wood, even though I don't think it would really hurt it. 
but I think it would probably discolor the wood a little bit. Oh, I'm about to lose battery. Sorry, right, I had to do a quick little battery change there. I want to stay with a, you know, a, a nautical theme because that's just what I want to do. I don't want to mix it up with a lot of reds on this one. So I am going to use this Texas copper. I don't know if that's going to be too much with the gold, but I just want to try a couple of spots and just see. It really is really pretty. Really pretty. I'm not sure about the gold or the copper. Maybe without the gold it would have been better. Maybe I need more blue. Let's try more blue. Well, it's interesting. I really would like to see what it'll look like once it once it fully cures, like some of these areas here. What will that look like? Right now it looks a little too patchworky. Um, I'm gonna hit it with some isopropyl alcohol just to see if that helps or or not. Just a little bit. Well, I think we just need to wait and see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the trunk down. I do have a little bit of resin left over in my cup. So I'm going to put the resin directly on my board. Oops, can you see that? And then my piece of driftwood. And then for my topper. A little patchworky, but I like it. And actually, I 
have some ideas for the next one. So for the next one, I think what I could do is um, put the alcohol inks on the glass first and then pour the resin, which would make it look, I don't know, more tie-dye, but I really like that. And I'm gonna try different colors too. Keeping Milton's tree. Remember this one? Love 